This seems to be a little bit more harder than I thought it was going to be. Hey guys, it's Serena. Welcome to Let Me Try That, where I find things online and try it myself from everything from cooking, crafts, to anything else, do it yourself. Today, we are making little flower holders. We're using paint and glitter. So it'll make these little dollar, cheap dollar things all fancy-ish. I've seen this posted a few times on Pinterest. Some were painted and then the other ones were glitter. So I figured I'd, since I have two things, I'll try one of each. Let's get started. I'm actually making these for um, to be used as a centerpiece bas in a basket thing for my sister's bridal shower. I've seen a few of these posts where they've used like a bunch of different vases. I use little heart ones because it's for Valentine's Day and that's why I also have pink glitter and red paint. But you can use these for anything, anything centerpieces, little gifts or whatever. So the first one I'm going to make is the painted one. All you needed was one of these and some enamel paint. Um, for glass. This one it didn't say glass on it, but it said other uses, so I figured it would work. This is my first time trying this stuff, so we're going to find out together what how it really works. I'm going to be wearing some awesome green gloves because I don't feel like getting paint on me today. That would kind of suck. They're nice and soft inside. actually really weird. So for this first one, I'm just going to take the top of this off. It was really, this one is really simple. Not even kidding you guys. All you do is just take the paint and you're going to pour some of the paint into here and just swirl it around so it covers. It's really, really simple, so they say. So I'm not sure. Nobody really told me how much paint to put in here. So I'm just going to like eye about how much I would think would cover the inside of it. And then whatever paint you have left, I'm just going to pour out into this trash bag. Try not to get too much paint on it. But okay, so... This seems to be a little bit more um, harder than I thought it was going to be. I think I'm going to have to put a lot more paint in there. <laughs> I'm going to squirt it and like try to get it on the sides as it goes down. See, like I see it running, but like it's still very... I'll just try putting it upside down. I was going to shrink it! Oh, that actually worked out pretty well. <laughs> Okay, so I got that little more section. I'm gonna shake it some more. Pretty sweet. What do you guys think? How well is that pretty look? So I think I'm just gonna let this sit right here, upside down, and let some of this paint come out of it. Okay, so I changed out my little paper. I put that over there to dry for a little. For my second one, I'm. this is the glitter heart, yay! Okay, all you need is pledge, floor care finish, you know, for the floors and some glitter. I kept walking around the craft store like sparkles, sparkles, sparkles. I need sparkles. Yeah, glitter, Serena. I guess they're called sparkles. You could call it sparkles. All you're gonna do is pour some of this into your container and to make sure that it covers and coats all the sides. So I'm just gonna pour some, oops, I overshot that. Just roll it around in there and make sure it coats all the sides. Okay, so you got your glitter. Look at it's pink. And I'm just gonna pour some in here. I'm gonna put the top on and just shake it. Make sure it coats your sides. Shake, shake, shake. So once you're done shaking it, you'll have some extra glitter. You can just toss it. I wouldn't suggest you're using that glitter. And then that is your second. One. Your second one's done. You're gonna find glitter everywhere. Well, that's why I put this down for cleanup. So I'm just gonna put this to the side, clean it this little area up so I can put my finishing touches on my little costume. Ugh. Glitter. So here's my glitter one. And then here's my my painted one I made. I think they're cute. What do you guys think? And I'm gonna cut these. I got some fake flowers. But I'm not good with real ones. Mm. Yay! Okay, so I'm all done cutting the flowers. I'm gonna put my roses in here. I'm just gonna fix the green things on them and make them look real. Um, the painted one, I'm not gonna put my flowers in there yet 
because this one actually needs two days to dry to make sure that paint is dry but unlike unlike this one like the paint in here is most likely going to stay not wear off as much where the glitter one the more times you put things in it and things out of it the glitter will like gradually kind of go away so and get on everything else so i'm just going to put my four little roses in there i think that looks cute and then this one i'll save my three roses and i'll put those in there later all this stuff was easy to find just go to a craft store this you might have to find at a grocery store one out of ten on how easy it was to do ten and i thought i think we got some good results i think they're pretty what do you guys think i, think, I like it i think it's cute so thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see more do-it-yourself crafts and also if you have any suggestions for me on what i should try next write them in the comments below i'm always looking and reading i'll see you guys next time